I can hold my breath longer than that. Okay. I can hold my breath longer, much, much longer than that. And of course, uh, if you don't know me by now, I'm a shift shaper, and okay, I can change from my my appearance and my my beauty to different metamorphoses. Okay, and um, too bad if you don't know about me. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, or insults, you put it down below. A little bit about me: I'm a therapist. I have experience with talking to hundreds of thousands of people, and of course, in a little short amount of time, getting their answers and getting their feedback, answering lots of people questions, and also counseling people who are in need, sickly. And of course, I am a missionary. I have experience from all sorts of places all across the world jamaica barbados trinidad of course i lived in ethiopia of course i am the real mccoy a minute has passed and now let me go into the subject Zaza, what was what were we just watching a little while ago what did you learn okay i we seen the video with this asian guy i, I think i'll put a, a description of the link in there okay and now this answer his questions okay and i also basically make this video who's more happier um, the lighter skinned people or blacker people, okay? And so I'll just make it make it more simple so people can understand, okay? You get this shit out of the way, so look at history too now. Now, this video was basically, he was told about he was being discriminated against because, and they would consider him a racist. He's an Asian guy, okay? And so when he was an Asian guy, he tried to, he, tried, he simply asked questions. And he tried to justify the answers and response he got from black people about the history of this country. I live in the United States. He probably lives in this communist state country called Japan, okay, which is a communist country. He's right. He can't speak whatever he wishes to speak. We have a right to speak what we want to speak. But you have to understand that he's missing some elements of emotion or sensitivities. He may be, he may be, he may be sensitive. He may be sensitive about it. But people may take him... Uh, you know, basically, uh, as a racist, okay? You know, they've been getting misconstrued. They're not understanding his feelings, okay? Now, let's put it like this. We do, by fact, have white privilege. Let's get this fact out of the way. And we do have oriental privilege as well, especially in their country against blacks, okay? There is a certain amount of fear. doesn't matter which race. Every race have a certain type of privilege, depending on what you're talking about. Do you agree? It depends on what you're talking about. So let's say I am a black person with credentials, which doesn't have a history of a uh, criminal element in my past. And I try to get a job and 10 other people and someone has to make that uh, test. They have to do. I did a test subject in the United States of America and I realized there's racism. And if you want to test this fact, just talk to me and we can get this little racist thing. That's why we have the double ACP. Okay, to check out to make sure there's no racism going on. They're supposed to be testing everybody out. But racism still goes on because they do ask your color, black or white. It's probably doing it for a census or whatever, but it's still, it's still not relevant because they're looking, they'll know it. If they know that you're black and they interview you, they have a right to hire you or not hire you. Correct? Okay. Yeah. But there is an element of white element of white privilege. There's an element of driving with a white friend. There's a white privilege element. There's a whole lot of privileges that are missing from the element of what he's talking about. But the thing is that if he's not sensitive enough, and he don't seem sensitive enough, people will call him racist because he's light-skinned. I told you, light-skinned people are more dubbed to be considered racist if they don't have a sensitive aspect to understanding why they feel like that. As, as we should already know, that all statistics are not factual. Okay, Who controls the media? And I, 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 I left him a message, and I hope he gets back to me. But of course, I do try to educate my, my Negro friends and my fellow Negroettes, okay, you know, who are of color, okay, not lighter skin, not Milano type, right? Not Milano types. Yo, you look like a Milano type, right? And I'm black, okay? My wife is Ethiopian. Okay? But you got to understand something. If you don't have the sensitivity for it, you're going to be considered a racist, okay? I can't be considered a racist because I'm black, okay? I told you, racist is a white face or a lighter color face. It doesn't really matter how the way you look at it, okay? You're not supposed to talk about it. You can't say the word nigger to a black person. You just can't do that. That's To me, I don't care what you call me. I'm not sensitive because I'm an educated Negro, right? I'm an educated Negro. 
You know, I, I basically educate people all the time. And if you know me by now in my videos, you would know I make sense and I make factual sense, common sense. -ly. Now, the thing is that I'm answering his video. If you don't, if you ask questions, you have to make sure you keep it, keep it sensitive. Because black people are on the lower totem pole when it comes to intellectualism. It's a part of their genes. Now, this is the thing that most people don't study and they don't really do. I, I found out that the most emotional race when it comes to rhythm and blues and dancing and stuff, you know, blacks have attributes far higher than lighter color people. Of course, you should know this by now. Every race has their attribute of some sort of skill based. Okay, just like white people are more prone to more in te technological savviness and also slave mentality thinking. They think a little bit more than black people do. Yeah, yeah, sure. But you got to understand something here. Blacks think a little bit more when it comes to dancing. Okay, blacks think a little bit more when it comes to certain musics and entertainments. Okay, just like whites do, have their own particular traits and, and characteristics that must be recognized stereotypically. Right. So as I talk to countless whites, blacks, Hispanics, and homosexuals, everyone has their certain types of privileges that go along with it. Black lives doesn't matter to me. White lives doesn't matter to me. No, no blue lives, no none of that stuff matters because everybody lives matter. Now this video I did, I, I, I talked about from the beginning, who is more happier? Who is more likely to be happier, okay? In the United States, blacks are definitely more happier than fucking whites. I, I mean, whites are more, I'm sorry, whites are more angrier okay than blacks okay blacks are more happier and why do i say this from my experiences i lived in the hood in the ghetto because i walked up to blacks myself as they sat on the porch monkey you'd ever heard of the porch monkey thing i see a bunch of niggas sitting there and i'm like these niggas don't like fucking education these niggas are need to be put in the jail or under the jail because me i'm like wherever they came from because i got picked on by blacks duh my friend my my caucasoid friend Chuck, he got picked on by blacks. You know what I did? I stood up to them motherfucking bullies. Them niggas are fucking ego singers as fuck. They got skills with kind of when it comes to ramping and roasting and shit, but or dancing or some other shit like dancing, with, the fucking rapping and shit like that. But they ain't got no skills with intellectualism. No, they don't have it. It's it's, it's statistically shown that they are on the lower totem pole when it comes to intellectualism. And I'm not being a cool about it, motherfucker. Okay, I'm a mixed breed of negro, and a negro. And I say this by evidence and fucking fact. <laughs> and the thing is that I get confused because I got German in my blood. I got Indian in my blood. I got black in my blood. So I'm like a mixed bag of shit and I can't focus, you know, because that's just me. Right? Right? So if you go up to ordinary Negro and you start coming out of his mouth like, I'm the man, like I'm the shit, okay? There's a problem right there, okay? If you come up to a Negro and he's still in the church, there's another problem right there. You try to educate Negroes, okay? Hold on, let me just do something here. Because I don't think people will listen to me. Maybe, maybe I need to tone it down. Hold on, because I think people, maybe people will listen to me if I'm wearing glasses. You know, this is a degenerate disease, right? This is a white disease, you know? Glasses, it's a degenerate disease from white, white people, right? And they, they really can't see, okay? Because they, there's something with the sun and they have uh, sulfur in their their bones and their sin. They got R, RH factor and shit. They're the lizards. There's a the draconian shit. Y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking about DNA's motherfucker. If aliens came down on this planet right the fuck right now, who would you have slept with? White people? Black people? Aliens are smarter than all of us. You're going to have better genes if you have slept with the fucking alien, right? So let's get out of this fucking convoluted things of the past because I'm like... You know, black, white people want to congregate with blacks, and black people want to congregate with whites. So if you mix them two together, you have a dancing motherfucking cracker. Okay, what do you call it? What do you call it? An Oreo, okay? An or a dancing Oreo, okay? Oreo. Or a zebra, okay? <laughs> a fucking zebra. So I'm going to go over 10 minutes with this guy. I think he's missing the point here. Maybe the fact that he's they, they caught him as insensitive. I didn't see nothing wrong with this video. I said, who called you a racist, okay? The one thing I just don't like is that he doesn't understand that the media can be altered. The one statistic okay, that shows that cops are killing more white people than black people. If you see that statistic, right, then you should obviously know that black people, I mean, white people are committing more crimes. Okay. I'm going to get to my point. I'm going to get to my point when I say that white people are more angry than blacks. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that point right now. Okay. But you got to understand something. There's other statistics that show that in different certain parts of the states, yeah, it could probably be higher. Okay? I know in Brooklyn, New York, the, the crime was fucking phenomenal. I, would, I made a prayer on that shit. I'd be hoping niggas get killed. 
Okay, and that shit came true. Okay, I was like, yeah, this is clear this motherfucker up because there was too many blacks running everywhere. Yeah. Too many motherfucking blacks. Hey, my love. Come on in here. Get this baby. Okay, now, I think it's that it's a, maybe it's the area. Okay, maybe it's the area. Let me get my baby from here. Let me get my baby. I'm gonna get my baby from in there. I'll get right. I'll be right back. I'll tell you the reasons why uh, black whites are more angrier than fucking blacks. Okay. What was I talking about? I must have trained in my thought. I said, but anyway, go in there and get it. It's in a drawer. You know, I see. I'm busy, y'all. So you know, I gotta watch. Now I got two. I got two daughters. Okay, they say that when you have two daughters, somebody was not right growing up, and it wasn't. It wasn't me because I'm Jesus. I don't have no sins in my past, so it's not me. They probably used my wife who did some wrong things in the past. But anyway, let me get back to my topic here. The media is not always factual. If you got more cops killing motherfucking crackers, the cops are killing whoever's killing the crackers. They have more chances to escape. They do far more crimes than the conglomerate of black people all across the United States. Now, if you go into certain sections, they to clear it up, to clear that statistic up. If it's higher in some areas, it's only in some areas. Remember, it's only 6% of African black men who are committing the crimes. Because you see how low it is. You see the statistical reports now, right? Now, I'm going to get to the point of why white people are fucking angrier than black people now. Here. I'm going I'm to explain it to you right now. And if you look at that statistic, you, you'll always see that one area in which they keep the focus, like Chicago and New York City, Brooklyn. Oh, those are black areas. Florida, crime rate, California, warm areas. Niggas gravitate those warm areas. There you go. They said they have more sex. They fuck more, okay? So you got to understand something. That's one reason why they're so fucking happy and so fucking violent, because they have an egocentric trip in their head. They're not thinking about the motherfucking past. It's not the... I've, ta- I've spoken to a whole bunch of Negroes and Negroettes. I was there. When you have a conversation with these Negroes, they don't want education. That's not part of their... When I have white friends, they're, they are it. They for it. Either they're for the gaming side, the left brain side is gaming. I told you I'm into the fantasy games, I'm into all that other shit. There's a pattern, motherfucker. Negroes only play Madden and fucking football. I'm trying to tell them about Final Fantasy. The motherfuckers don't want to play Final Fantasy. I said most Negroes, most crackers that I know to hillbillies, hunkies, we want to call them the motherfucker you want to call them. They play that computer shit, they technology shit. They want to play World of Warcraft and shit. They want to get RTSs, RPGs and shit, action RPGs. Most niggas don't know about no fucking Zelda. I'm telling you, six percent of blacks in America. I'm talking about in America, only in America, don't know about no motherfucking Zelda. I am telling you the fucking truth. When I talk to a cracker or a hillbilly, I'm saying it because I have a right to say it because it's a sensitive thing. I don't have to be sensitive. When I talk about Asian people, I say, whoa, wait. Okay, I'm offensive as fuck because I'm a comedian. And fucking funny on top of that. But you have to understand something. White, black people are more happier than black people simply because they like to sit in their own shit. They sit in their own shit. They're talented. They have hidden talents. They're waiting for a handout opportunity. Not like me. I wasn't waiting for the handout opportunity. It came to me. The opportunity came to me. A handout opportunity came to me. But them, them motherfuckers are waiting for an opportunity. Their mothers are also waiting for an opportunity. And this is the hardcore facts. Because I may, I know I may sound like a Larry Elder. I may sound like a Jesse Owens. But racism still and all that shit does exist. Yes, it does. It exists to, to me. It exists by 20 to 30 percent. If you need some facts to back it up, I can actually prove it to you. Okay, how about that? I can I can actually prove it to you that racism actually exists exists twenty to thirty percent, and also slavery exists even in other third world countries by white people, motherfuckers. I'm talking about all across the world, the conglomerate. It, it, it may happen more in the United States of America. Okay, look at my daughter. Her name is Tazetta. Look, look. Hello, say hello. You know what that is? It's too bad that I'm one of those guys that fell to the cracks, but I'm not a coon. I'm not being a coon. I'm just saying that it's a genetic thing. Like you study the warrior gene. You, you figure things out. You say, cool, okay, this makes sense. Okay. Niggas are like this. Now, there's a lot of whites who already had a lot of anger in their past. They probably angry at blacks. 
I'm telling you why the reasons why now white black people are fucking angry. I mean, black black people are basically happier because they can sit in their own shit and be legit. They don't want to move. Now, this successful blacks, of course, look at Oprah. OK, look at Michael Jackson, look at Michael Jordan. OK, but you got to understand that Michael Jordan created a shoe, uh, one shoe, one shoe type. And niggas is just fucking spending trillions of fucking dollars and shit. And they put that shit back in the community. I said this. I'm like a fucking Spike Lee. I said this to niggas. Put that shit. Don't buy no fucking shoes. What the fuck is your problem? And you broke already. How are they buying fucking shoes? They doing drugs. They selling drugs because they're not using their brain. They'd rather rob somebody. So those niggas need to be put under the jail. Okay. That's why you see a lot of 25% of Negroes here in jail. They, cause they belong there. They do, they do belong. I'm telling you, I got pulled over. True story now. Multiple times by cops. And maybe because of my glasses, maybe it's with the facade that I have on the max. I, I, I'm just polite. I put my hands up and I'm polite. If they curse at me, I put my hands up because they are the authority. They are the fathers. They are the ones who, they have enough stress in their life. I have no time to responding back to them because they called me a nigger. Because I've been called a nigger before by some crackers, okay? Some cop crackers, yes, I did. I had a gun pulled on me twice by some fucking coppers. But you know what they did? They said, you didn't make no moves. One cop even told me the reason why they don't, sh they shoot niggas because they're too loud. They don't have no repertoire of how to talk. They don't know how, they don't know how I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they want to shoot you first. Now, you see the statistics says the cops are killing more crackers, right? But then you have other statistics that show in different parts of the United States, they're committing over 50% of the crimes. That's because the crimes are happening to themselves, motherfucker. This is why black lives doesn't matter, okay? White lives doesn't matter. The blue lives don't matter. Everybody's fucking lives matter. Now, the whites are angry because of the fact that it's... When it, when it comes to sex, blacks don't really have problems to getting pussy. I've said this countless motherfucker. They may only play Madden or fucking uh, NBA K, okay, motherfucker. That's the fucking truth. I ain't been in the fucking hood. I ain't lived it. Don't try that bullshit with me, motherfucker. 20 fucking minutes, okay? Now, if you watching this, I'm going to send this video. I sent this video to him. I talked to him. I said, hey, you know, it's just about sensitivity. Don't say the word nigger, okay, because it's not. <laughs> don't, don't come off. I say the word nigger. Okay, nigger, nigger. Okay, they never going to attack me because of sensitivity issues. I sent a message to him. I said that keep up your good work. And if you understand it or not, let's say, hey, they focus on the past because they're on the lower vibration. They like to think about the past because they like to sit in their own shit. Okay. Racism also exists in your country as well. In Japan, it resists everywhere. There is a biased stigma to blacks because when they start reading the research, they start figuring out, oh, this person might act up or ask for me. So they won't take any chances. So times have to change and evolve over time in order for the, anything to come through or, 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 or change. Because it's not going to last forever. Nothing lasts forever. The reason why whites are far more angry because they got the guns, they got the, they have to protect themselves and shit like that because of the past. Whites had whites in slavery. Blacks had blacks in slavery. Blacks had whites in slavery, and whites have blacks in slavery. This is all facts. Okay. If you go back further to the Egyptian times, blacks had whites in slavery. And, and as a matter of fact, through the creation stories, it says that these Egyptian gods created the white man. Okay. And they rebelled and lived in the Caucasus Mountains. You ever heard of them shit like that? You probably haven't because you haven't read enough books. There's a lot of creation stories about the Anunnaki creating the white man as the slave masters the search for gold on this fucking planet. You haven't thought about that either. What about Zachariah Sension, Chariots of the Gods? You don't know about the white man being the slave master? The slave master of the slave thinkers. They're slave thinkers. They're genetically bonded to think that way. And it goes, the gene goes on to Orientals and any light colored motherfucker there is. But let me tell you some facts right here. Did you know this whites and blacks have the highest crime rates in America? Though whites cost more, do more crime, especially in rape and heinousy. Oh my goodness, did anything in the motherfucking world. Okay, now blacks will do homicide. Blacks will do robbery. But that's it. They do that spit on themselves. But let the white people, oh, oh, they create over 70% of, of heinous crimes. But look at the other races, like Asiatic, okay, those are Orientals, those, those Jewish individuals. Their shit is low as fuck. You know why? They're more into spiritualism. Ah, they're even more on a lower vibration. It's, it's strange, right? The difference is because materialism and fucking spiritualism are two different things. They're not focused on so many materials. Whites and blacks are definitely materialistic. 
Why? Right, my love? Whites and black are definitely ter- um, materialistic. And that's the problem with America. Because you got white men who are basically capitalists. They're oligarchies. They had stolen money from all sorts of people all across the world. And had, he actually bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, motherfucker. They bombed them. All because of materialism. Okay? And blacks, of course, are not even there thinking about materialism. They're in their false churches, hooping and hollering. Okay, you hear me? And the other races, I'm talking about Chinese, little Mexicans, Hispanics, they crumbs is not that. Hispanics is up there with blacks, you know. If you, once you mix breed, those are mixed breeds. Okay, you gotta watch that now. Anybody with the attitudes and the, the, the characteristics, like riddits and shit, you are more on the black side, you should know who they are. All right? I get hired by white folks. I have, I, I worked for long periods of time uh, working with white men, okay? But uh, they help me. They help me and I help them, okay? But you got to understand, that's the reason why whites are fucking angry because the ancestors had them in slavery, okay? And that shit carried down. That's why they always have to have their weapons. When they made that, when the alien came down to talk to them, okay, th- th- you don't know about this. When the aliens said, you want free energy and trade for having peace in this world? The white man said, no, because they are the supreme of the motherfucking planet. When I say white man, I'm talking about all the European empires, those Switzerland individuals, there's German individuals. I'm talking about those individuals who need weapons to feel safe. It's a safeguard. Okay, I know white guys with crackers. I, stay, I, I hung with the hillbillies and crackers, motherfucker. They can't hang me because of the fact that they said I'm funny. I said, you in the wrong place. They told me you in the wrong place. I said, hey, you know, I'm just want to be friends. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm a, I'm a chocolate nigga in a fucking mixed bag of swirl of chocolate, of vanillas. Vanilla pudding, motherfucker, like fucking um, Bill Cosby. They didn't want to hang my ass, but they need niggas. They like niggas. There's a lot of Muslims who love white people, and there's a lot of KKK motherfuckers who love black people. Just like go down to the South. Confederate flag, motherfucker. Y'all motherfuckers need to do some more research, okay? Now, if you don't like my cursing, get the fuck off the page. You don't like me cursing about my daughter, get the fuck off the page too. All right? So this message is out to him, and I'm telling you the reason why um, whites are more angry than fucking blacks, even though blacks have been through over 500 years of slavery. Oh, she's sleep? 500 years of fucking slavery. Yeah, my daughter. The kids usually sleep around me. I have that magnetism, okay? I have that magnetism. Okay. Now her belly her belly is, is much better than what it is. She got stitches. Oh, get the baby. Kids do not cry around me. Tell the goddamn truth, and I'm called the coon. I said, thank you very much, motherfucker. Does your ass Black Lives Matter? Because you'll be a dead Black Lives Matter. Okay. You know how I many weapons these motherfucking crackers have? And you, you t- and you think about the history? Of the- no, there's no time to stop thinking about history now. I said, if you can't beat them, you fucking join them. You mix breed with the motherfuckers, and that's the best way to fucking get away from that shit. Mix breed, that's why a lot of sisters be doing that shit. Okay, they be fucking mixed breeding with white people, so they won't have that fucking hatred. Okay, because if you got, if your blood was like mine, part German, part Indian, part um, Indian, okay, part uh, African, then you don't know what to believe. I got, I, I, I whip myself because I'm white. I'm partially white. I'm gonna whip my own self, whip my own ass. I'm like, did my ancestor do some shit? This is why I tell Pan Pan Africans to stop that shit. Stop that shit, motherfuckers. I'm, I'm trying to be calm because I'm trying to be monotone like them crackers and shit. I'm trying. I'm trying to calm down. <sighs> I get so excited because I'm a mixed fucking bag. I'm a mixed bag and I'm crazy too. You tell the truth and they don't want to hear it. When you do the research, they don't want to hear it. So they call you a coon. That's what niggas do. <laughs> right? They call you a coon. Religious people are coons. They fall for the white man's religion. They believe in the white Jesus when there's thousands of different gods out there. Come on, y'all. Wake the fuck up. Focus on yourself in your next life. You're in limbo. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light. Now, welcome, welcome to my page. That's just common sense. White people are fucking angry because of their ancestors that, that, that had them in slavery from all the way from ancient time, before even the slavery time and trade happened. Before the slavery time happened, if blacks was in slavery for 400 or 500 years, I don't give a fuck what's more or whatever the fuck it is, right? If you are more, you should be supreme right now, right? So if you can't beat them, you join them. You got to get out of that rut because it's only going to cause destruction. Look what happened to Malcolm X. Look what happened to Martin Luther King. They all got killed. 
Every black power person got killed today. So the best thing for blacks to do, as happy as they motherfucking are, cooking chicken and watermelon. I love chicken and watermelon. White people love chicken and watermelon. But somehow blacks be getting offended by that shit. I don't know. Sensitive. How can blacks be... Oh, oh, the simp liberal old Negroes get... Oh, okay, those Negroes. Those lowly motherfuckers. I know they get... They don't talk to me. I used to get along with them. I say, I say, hey, you know, you can't talk. You know, you shouldn't do that. And I try to... I take the passive approach. I don't talk with, with ego. I use magic, so they don't touch me. Guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm mental. Guys. I'm like the mentalist. But peace and love to brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Think about it. Think about it now. Why, why, why people are more angry than black people? Think about that shit. You know they got guns in the woods. You know the motherfuckers got more money than blacks. You know they got guilt and karma coming to the ass. Their, their houses get hit all the time and shit. By hurricanes and shit. You know they, they are 70% conquer, conquest of the world. They're conquerors. 70% of the world was con uh, conquered by uh, Caucasoids. Okay, when I say Caucasoids, I'm talking about the Orientals as well, motherfucker. Okay? We're not talking about the Africans here, okay? That's another history. That's beyond. We're not talking about way 2,000, 4,000 years ago when blacks was the population of the earth. Duh! If blacks was the population of the earth and they had whites in slavery as slave thinkers, what do you think happened? Where do you think their Greek shit came from? Look, he took fire from the knowledge of the tree of wisdom from the fucking Horus and set in all them Egyptian gods and shit, and they chained his ass to a fucking rock and shit to get pecked by fucking um, uh, collar, uh, collarbones and crows and shit for the rest of the eternity, and he keeps coming back. That's Greek mythology, motherfucker. What about Norse mythology? They're warriors. They live in the fucking cold and shit. They got hot blood. I know about them. I was there, motherfuckers. You don't like me saying motherfuckers. I'm sorry, man. I, I try to be monotone. I try. <laughs> Peace and love to you, brothers. This is of light and dark. I told you already. If this world was conquered by black people, there was slavery for white people. If this world is conquered by white people, there's slavery for black people. Peace. Right? Say peace. And do your goddamn research. And be sensitive, y'all crackers. And Asian people, too. Wait, wait. <laughs>